It's time for Orchard CMS. One of the key aspects required for troubleshooting an application is creating a quality logging system. We all know the need for logging the code we create. Logging is essential to understanding the behavior of an application and to debug unexpected issues or for simply tracking events. In a production environment, we can't debug issues without proper log files as they become the only source of information to debug some intermittent or unexpected error. Today on Orchard CMS, we'll be adding logging to the My Orchard Core CMS web application. Welcome back to Orchard CMS. So what does application logging mean? An application log is a file of events that are logged by an application. It can be informational events, warnings, and critical errors. The format and content of an application log may contain a timestamp, a logging level, and detailed information of the event. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is bring up Visual Studio. And we have our My Orchard Core CMS application loaded. So let's go ahead and right click on dependencies and manage NuGet packages. So the first thing we want to do is add the Orchard Core logging NuGet package and hit on the browse tab. And in the search, we want to, we want to look for our logging package. Select that, make sure we have include pre-releases checked, and then let's go ahead and hit install. Okay. All right, we now have our logging NuGet package installed. That's great. So the next thing we'd like to do, let's create a nlog.config file. So let's go ahead and add a new item. And let's just select a text file here for now. Add, and let's go ahead and rename it to nlog.config. Okay, now let's, now let's enter our nlog.config information. And there we go. So now what we want to do is head over to the programs.cs and what we want to do is we in the using we want to use orchardcore.logging. So let's go ahead and add that. And then also we want to add .use nlog web. And there we go. And then also we want to go to the app settings.json, add some logging settings for that. And you notice that the default logging is set to warning here. And if you go to the nlog wiki page, they have a configuration information on logging levels. So each log entry has a level and each logger is configured to include or ignore certain levels. A common configuration is to specify the minimum level where that level and higher levels are included. For example, if the minimum level is info, then info, warn, error, and fatal are logged, but debug and trace are ignored. So here are the different logging levels. We have fatal, if something goes bad, happened, application is going down. Error, something failed, application may or may not continue. Warn, something unexpected, application will continue. Info, normal behavior like mail sent, user updated profile, etc. Debug, for debugging, executed query, user authentication, session expired. Trace, for trace debugging, begin method X, end method X. That's for verbose debugging. Okay, so let's go ahead and save everything. Now let's head back to nlog.config, and you'll notice that there's an internal log level. I've got that set to trace, so that will give you the most verbose debugging here. And let's go ahead and run the application. Click on the green arrow. And there we go, it's up and running. Let's go ahead and finish setup. And we finished setup. So now let's go ahead and just take a look at the log. So if you go to File Explorer here, so if we go ahead and, and bring up the directory where our application is and go into App Data, then you'll notice there's a logs file here and then there's an internal 
log text file. And if we bring up that, then it shows you all the different trace and debug information in the detail log. So this is really convenient to figure out what the application is doing when it initializes and, and goes through its initialization procedures. So you can tell it's, it's pretty lengthy and in good detail. Now to recap, we modified the MyOrchard Core CMS web application that we created on a previous video and added Orchard Core logging. We went through the coding and configuration settings. We went over all the different logging levels, fatal, error, warn, info, debug, and trace. Then we ran the application. After exiting the application, we went to the directory where the log was created. We opened up the detail log and followed its logging events. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There is a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All the information is in the video description. If you liked the video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.